Hi guys, it's me Sammy. Um, and today's video is a bonus video because I was not expecting to do this video. It's going to be my J Star unboxing video of what I got, what I ordered for his launch. Um, if you don't support him, don't like him, um, no judgment. Just if you don't like him, just keep scrolling on my video. Um, I do not condone his behavior in the past, but I do like his products. So, yeah. Um, and I also, as I said before, I am not purchasing. My husband actually bought these for me. So, yeah. I'm not going to tell him no. I don't want makeup, you know. So, just giving you that disclaimer before. Um, if you don't want to watch this video, go ahead and skip it. And I will be back on Thursday with a new video. Um, and yeah, so if you want to see what I got from my husband, then keep on watching. So he ordered from Beautylish. So I got these little gold blush shampoo and conditioner. Because Beautylish is awesome and they always put a free sample. Which I like, um, so he ordered me the mini palette. Because I have all the minis. And the mini names, I know he knew, I told him this earlier, the names of the mini shades aren't as, I guess I won't use the word bad, but aren't as um, taboo as the shade names in the big palette. Oh, and he also ordered me in one of those teddy bear hoodies. This is what it looks like. Huh. Definitely not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to feel a lot softer for how much it costs. It kind of feels like a towel. Uh, I mean, it's soft, but it like it reminds me of like a beach towel feel. But it's still really cute. Let me put it on real quick while I show you the right, so This is what it looks like on. This is what it looks like on. So it's really cute on. And we live where it snows, so it'll definitely be good for when it snows. This is the the Mini O palette. I'm not even gonna say the name, but it's, it's heavy. It's actually heavier than the other ones, but I have all the other mini palettes. So he's like, oh, let's buy you the this mini one because it's cheap and that way you have part of the collection. And yeah, so when he comes out with mini palettes, I guess my husband's gonna get it, but wow, they're pretty. Okay, so. I can kind of show this better than the Unicarton because the Unicarton has a bunch of naked people on it. This has naked people on it, but I can't really tell that they're naked, I guess. And you know, if I really want to do something, I can take brown tape and I can like put it so then it just says mini O. That's probably what I'll end up doing. All right, so these are the colors. There's glass wet champagne drip which is a really pretty color gagging soaking sun frozen fire i love that one bathhouse eiffel tower which it looks mauve in the camera but it's like a brown um foam party and expect let me go ahead and do some swatches for you okay so there's glass sweat champagne drip Gagging, Soaking Sun, which is a really, really pretty color. And so is the Frozen Fire. That's gorgeous. I'll probably use those two a lot in my looks because those are really, really pretty. Um, Bathhouse, Explicked, Foam Party, and Eiffel Tower. So something to note, the Glass Wet and the Foam Party shade they felt way different than the other shades. The other shades felt like his normal creamy formula, and these two felt like the um, the Blood Heart, or what is it? I think it's Bleeding Heart, there we go. The Bleeding Heart shade and um, in Bloodlust, these two felt like that, that kind of dry feeling, so I'm not really happy about that. I don't know, I think he needs to change that formula because 
just feels so drying. But yeah, there is those. And at the end of this video, I'm going to insert a look using this palette. So keep watching to see the look I created with this palette. Missing someone